So Roblox Islands has gone ahead and added a new quality of life update, so let's get straight to this video. So Roblox Islands has gone ahead and added in this clock up here. Now this clock is just a side thing from this update, but it pretty much just tells you the time of the game and when it's actually going to change to day and night. So let me read you some of this information so then you can know when it's going to change to day and night. So day will start at 4am but officially start at 6am, night will transition at 5pm but officially start at 6pm, and night lasts quicker so the clock will speed up normally. And now I've got some other information about this. Daytime goes for 12 minutes and nighttime goes for 6 minutes. So whenever this turns nighttime, you go ahead and see that this clock goes 10 times as fast. Now the Mushroom Obby event has been removed and all items have become tradable. So if you go to the published island online area and you can actually see a lot of people buying and selling them. Now I might be actually later on today being buying and selling them so look out for my shop. Now, going on with the updated UI, a bunch of things have just received updated UI, basically. So, Quest has been redone a little bit, just looks a little neater and more wider, and it's got a little X button up here, um, nothing much. And then the next UI area, what's been changed is the profiles, and now this is what it looks like. So, it looks a lot more thinner, and it just looks a lot better, in my opinion. And now you actually have a search bar, so if you want to try and find one of your save slots, say, for example, build compo, I could go ahead and find my DV build contest video or whatever I did there. Now in profiles you can actually go ahead and find certain islands. So say you made a co-op, a hardcore island or a solo and you just want to find all your co-op ones, you can use tag and then these dot dots then you can put co-op. Now you will have a tag right here where we'll find all your co-op slots. Now if you want to find your hardcore ones, you do tag, then the dot dots, and then the hardcore. And there we go, I found my hardcore one. And now there's one final tag. You put tag, then the dot dot, then solo. Now you can find all your solo ones, what are just by yourself. And now to remove one of these tags, you just click backspace, like removing any word or anything like that. Now we've got a little bit of crop market news where orange prices have risen from 20 to 26 and reddish prices have dropped from 64 to 59 and Farmer Cletus has been whispering about lemon prices. And then they said at the bottom of all of these patch notes, we are working on a really cool Halloween event for this year so keep your eyes peeled for that event. So now, they're probably working mostly on the Halloween event, and don't get mad with the devs for having such a small update, then again, there is only maybe three devs working on this update, and they're trying to focus more of their work on the Halloween event, plus they had to deal with a bunch of dupes, so these next few weeks are just gonna be quality of life updates, what Vlias has gone ahead and told me. But still, these changes are gonna make the game feel more smooth and just more comfortable to play 24-7. But if you wanna go ahead and see what save slots I have, click on this video right up here.